to play Ooh. Kane's in this group. Wow. But he can't overlook Killer Mike. Yeah, that's the, that's the thing. I know he wants to play his rival Mo, and that game's coming up next, and we're super hype. But if he gets caught up in looking to the next game, Killer Mike might come up with a serious upset to start off this tournament. Yeah, big opportunity for Killer Mike, and it's all about riding the wave for him. Heading into the club series, when he played in Seattle, he beat Kiv there, he beat Kerry Q there, he beat Silent Soldier there, and then he comes and runs in as the eighth seed, the lowest seed in the club series championship, knocks off True Boy, knocks off Misery, and then he knocks off Monsta. Six big time wins, all of those guys here in this tournament. So. A lot to prove here for him. If he can win here, beat Skimbo, get out of this group, this could be the greatest run of all time in the history of competitive Madden. Well, we're going to see if he's got it here against Skimbo. Skimbo's locked in. Not a lot of his boys here. You know, I actually looked over, and he was not even labbing with anyone. All his guys are in C and D. But if you look at his record, 87% of the time on the ladder, he makes it happen. Absolutely unbelievable. The number of sheer number of games he plays and then the percentage of what he wins. And not only does he do it with the online ladder, he has played the number one amount of games in this entire tournament in a live event. 14 live event uh, tournament games he's played this year. Really impressive. And he's won 67% of those games. Of course, Killer Mike from Alaska, part of the Air Force. Appreciate his service. And he's coming in with a 76% winning percentage. And, of course, he's the number 32 ranked team. But he is the Giant Slayer. He, he has to play that role. I mean, that's what he's here for. He's got his parents in the crowd here today. They're watching, getting ready, and hoping for him to get a victory. Uh, but, again, how important of a run this guy is on. You cannot overstate it. You cannot say it enough. This is one of the most impressive runs we've seen ever, already at this point to get to this point, and he has a lot of work here to do to continue that streak. You know, I talked to Killer Mike. I said, how was it like being on TV? One word, awesome. You feel that way? You feel that way when you get a little TV action? I'll, I, I mean, I, always, always. It's fantastic, you know. But listen, he is poised. He's ready. And we've said it before. He has played in this competitive tournament scene for a very long time. So he's accustomed to being in these situations. This, I mean, yes, the first live event, his chance to be on NFL Network, yeah. fantastic. But he's been here before. He's played in these competitive tournaments before. He's no, he's no rookie here. Well, on your left, Skimbo, he'll be the Patriots. And on the right, if you can't tell by his jersey, he's still rocking the Seahawks. That's the team that got him here. He went through the club series, dominated that, and he was the club series champ. And now Killer Mike, a.k.a. Michael Clark, is going to have a chance to maybe make some noise early in this tournament against Michael Skimbo. Make some noise against Skimbo. And for all the talk about Skimbo and how great of an offense he has, I really want to highlight the importance of his defense heading into this tournament. Let's just talk real quick. Eight points a game is what he's giving up. That Out of this entire 32 field, that ranks second in the entire championship. That is an impressive defensive points against that he's allowing. And then one other comment here for you. He has a blitz percentage of 72% of the time that ranks fifth in the entire field. He is going to be gassing people up all tournament long. All right. Well, we are literally seconds away from starting the Madden 17 championship live from Los Angeles. And I tell you what, Skimbo, is he's going to have to lock in here early. I think he's a guy that could come out. If he can set the tone against Killer Mike, maybe can put the newcomer on tilt. He absolutely has an opportunity to do that. I mean, you expect Skimbo to come out, put a lot of points up on the, on the, score, uh, on the scoreboard with his passing offense. You're not going to see a lot of running from him. You're, he's not going to run the ball. So if you like a guy at home, you want to root for someone that wants to pass the ball because you pass the ball, that is the man you see right there on camera right there, poised and ready for another championship run. So Killer Mike's going to be kicking it off to Skimbo. What can you tell me about Killer Mike? He's going to come out and a little bit away from the meta, the 46 defense, me being a huge 85 Bears fan, uh, how do you feel about the Bears with the draft right now? I don't feel well. I don't. I, I, I was. I was told we would not one talk word, about the Bears draft one word during this. Early. Yeah, it is. It, it, it's not good, and I know a lot of people don't feel that way uh, in Bears Nation. And here we go. Killer Mike kicking off to our number one seed, Skimbo, and as always, he's rocking the New England Patriots. And able to move it to the 23-yard line, and that's where Michael Skimbo will start. You always remember, you got to watch out for Skimbo on some of those kick returns. You know, his special teams helped him make a run at the, the challenge. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. 
So first and ten. Rodgers dumps it off to Williams, and he's wrapped up at the 28. Easy breezy five yards. Yeah, and, and Skimbo had talked about the importance of being able to throw the ball to the flat, check down, not try and force the ball downfield so much in this game. How you feel? Aaron Rodgers in a Patriots uniform? Are you okay with that? He's a good-looking number 12. I know. He's a you you see 12, 12 well. in the Patriots, <laughs> and you're immediately like, all right, that's, that's old Tommy Brady. How about the green jerseys, though, of the Seahawks? Oh, man. Electric. Electric. Neon. If you have some sunglasses nearby, you might want to equip it. Third and five. Quick throw to Johnson. That'll move the chains to the 37. Yeah, what you're seeing here from, uh, from Skimbo, he, as he closes his eyes, they're really taking in the moment right there. You can see how much this means to him, but he wants to take what Killer Mike gives to him on an every down basis. So first and 10. For Michael Skimbo and Aaron Rodgers. Rodgers rolling right. Looking downfield. He's going to throw it. Looking for Johnson. And he can't haul it in. Yeah, and that's that Deion Sanders matched up against Chad Johnson there. We talked about it at the top of the broadcast. Rodgers rolls out here, sets his feet, delivers an absolute strike down that right sideline. But Deion gets his hand in there, breaks the pass up at the last second. Second and ten, just dumped it off to Williams. And that time gets six yards, third and four. Yeah, for everyone watching at home, the way Killer Mike, he plays very different defensively. He likes to blitz these outside defenders here. They get in on the inside, and that's where he wants to generate pressure. Big third and four. And why not? It worked the first time. It works the second time. In plus territory at the 43-yard line. What you're going to find throughout the course of this game is that it's going to be very difficult for, for Killer Mike to defend these sidelines because of the defensive formation he's in. Throws it up for Johnson. And some nice coverage downfield. And one of my favorite defenders, Anthony Barr. Yeah, Anthony Barr, a lot of size, a lot of athleticism. He was able to hang down that sideline deep downfield, deflect the pass away. 0 for 2 right now in deep balls for Skimbo. Bunch of guys in the box here in this 46D. And then second and 10 at the 43. Oh, well, motion for Austin. There's that delayed slant, but it's taken away, and he just has to throw it out of bounds. Yeah, good defensive coverage there, and the pressure eventually came in off a, a few block sheds. For those of you new watching at home, block sheds where a defender will engage with an offensive lineman, and then when he breaks free and gets after the quarterback, that's what we refer to as a block shed. If you haven't seen Madden before, you must have just gotten the internet yesterday. <laughs> As we've had a slew of Madden games this year in Madden 17, and a great find. That is Randy Moss to the 30. I can't stress the importance of, of the way Skimbo's already playing this game. He's already understood that the area you want to attack on the field are out on these deep sidelines here. It's really difficult uh, for Killer Mike's defense to defend against that part of the field. This time Williams just drops it in the flat. That's going to bring up a second and 10. Yeah, in, in right there, unfortunate drop once again for Skimbo. That's that's three drop passes already in this one. The drop pass buck right now for Skimbo. So second and ten. On a drive here, the 30-yard line. Rodgers looking. And he finds Randy Moss, a little playmaker, down to the 11. And you're going to see a lot of playmaker in this tournament. Nailed it on the head right there. If you are going to see Playmaker take over this entire tournament. Playmaker is when you have the ability to control your receiver from the quarterback. Tell him, hey, I want you to run upfield. You saw Skimbo take advantage of that there for the big play. So first and ten in the red zone. Rodgers will go to his right. And he'll keep it and he'll slide at the five-yard line. Yeah, isn't that what Rodgers can bring to the table right there? That mobility, get outside of the pocket. You saw from Killer Mike there defensively, he didn't pass rush a lot of his defenders. That opened up running lanes on the outside for Skimbo. Now on the five yard line, watch for a pass over the deep middle part of the field in this area, uh, or even on this left sideline. Left sideline's a great area, watch for Moss. Jimmy Graham in there. And he's gonna throw it up to Moss, a one-handed grab for the touchdown. Hello, welcome to the Madden 17 Championship. What a way to start the championship for Skimbo. He was able to dissect Killer Mike's defense play 
after play. 13 play drive leads to Randy Moss down that left sideline. What a spectacular catch that was right there. In talking to Skimbo before this game, before this tournament, he said that he had done a lot of preparation watching Killer Mike, watching a lot of his game film and tape, and you could see on that drive right there, 13 plays. He went downfield, he dinked and dunked. That's a fantastic way to start a tournament. And the interesting thing about that touchdown pass, it was on Paul Kraus, who was a tremendous defender. That tells you how good that Randy Moss item is. So this is where Keller Mike finds himself down a touchdown to the number one seed. And he'll go to work up under center. He's got Aaron Rodgers as well and Randy Moss. Surprise, surprise. Watch for aggressive play here from Skimbo, the anticipating run. And he'll go to Coleman. And Coleman will go to the 23-yard line. So we got a seven-point game here, but we got Mo and Canes getting it on on the other side, Zach. Well, it was Canes early with the ball, but then Sirius Mo with an interception in the red zone cashed in on a touchdown pass to the corner. 7-0 Mo in the second quarter. All right, so two good games going on here to start it. And a big-time hit. And, well, we've wrote a book on Landon Collins, and there he is once again. You got to start wondering for Skimbo when he's going to get one of those fumbles. You saw in the Madden Challenge, you never really got that big fumble to help him seal victory there. But he brings Landon Collins back on the outside. Watch for him on that right side of the field there. Playing the short flat, laying big hits uh, on uh, receivers ball carriers. So third and three at the 25. Quick throw. And able to hang on at the 45. A big conversion to Ocho Cinco. Yeah, that's a great way to attack a lot of these high pressure cover two style defenses. The seam pass, you split those defenders, the deep safety right in the middle of the field there. That's where you want to attack cover twos. So ball at the 45 now, first and 10. Goes to Coleman. And Coleman's going to actually oh, lose a yard on. there. Yeah, and as this game develops, you, you look at Killer Mike, the way he plays, very methodical. you got to think, is he setting a play action there? I love that play call. He comes out in first down, shows run formation, set up a play action later in the game. This time he goes to the gun on second and 11. We're under a minute to go in the first. A little jump pass, and Coleman makes a man miss. Picks up the first down and more down to the 39-yard line. Yeah, and... Some of the ways that Killer Mike wins games and how he's been able to go on such a streak here. He's won his last six live event games. Uh, he dinks and dunks all downfield. You're going to see it time and time again. Yeah, he was the Seahawks club champion, but he plays a little bit like Kansas City. But like Alex Smith out there, he, he has a lot of passes uh, per game, 17 pass attempts per game, uh, but his total yards per uh, per pass, his total passing yards per game, one of the lowest in this entire tournament. Interesting to note, as far as the salary cap spent, he was last in the tournament on running backs. Let's see if Telvin Coleman can be a guy to carry the load as the first quarter Comes to an end. Skimbo with a lead, but Killer Mike's on the drive. Killer Mike doing everything he needs to here on this drive. He's, he's done a nice job of running the ball on first downs, uh, get himself into manageable second and sh uh, third down short situations. Uh, and that's the that's his game. That's how he plays. Get me into second and third and short, and I'm going to dig and dunk you until you take away the short part of the field. So it's time for the second quarter here in the Madden 17 Championship. Live from L.A. and couldn't get his feet in bounds. We're in game number one between the number one seed Skimbo and the number 32 man Killer Mike. Yeah, great composure here. Uh, take a look at the replay. He rolls out of the pocket, tries to fit this pass and unfortunately goes for a rat catch and not a possessing catch. That's not why he is able to keep his feet in bounds. So watch this defender here off that edge. Big third down here from the 35. Rodgers. And a good find at the 14 yard line. And once again, another huge third down conversion. And you're hearing Skimbo Sigh. moaning and groaning. Moaning and groaning. It's because he keeps getting into these situations where he's getting uh, passes directly over the middle of the field. And he knows that's the part he has to use her. Killer Mike doing a great job there. He was converting third downs 48% of the time, and he's looked good here on this opening drive. But not only are you in the red zone, you're on inside the 10. It's time for the dead zone. Difficult part to score here. The field is condensed. The game is no longer a vertical game. It's more about stretching the field horizontally. That gives the defense an advantage here. Take a look at this.
pass distribution right here. Killer Mike, four rushes, five passes to Skimbo's one rush, 12 passes. And he goes a little delay with Coleman, a big hit by Joey Bosa, who Skimbo was really high on when we talked to him yesterday at the player meeting. Yeah, B Bosa was the guy. He, he said he's the man that is going to set the tone for this whole tournament. You can see he gets off a block here, and he just lays an absolute huge hit stick on the ball here. Another no fumble for Skimbo. So third and three from the seven. Rodgers throws to the back of the end zone, and he almost held on. That was Jordan Cameron in the in the back on a little high point pass. Absolute strike back of the end zone. Cameron almost hangs on to it. Oh. Once he hits the ground, Drive. drops it. So a little win there for Skimbo. A long drive by Killer Mike, but he's able to hold him to the Fig Newton. If you're Killer Mike, you got to feel great about that opening drive. You know, you got into a situation, you, you got the ball up to your big tight end there. He wasn't able to hang on to the catch. Uh, but ultimately, you were able to move the ball downfield. Now you need to get a stop here, though, on this drive. Well, that's what's going on in this game. Let's check on the side game with Zach. Gaines with another great drive, but stalled out once again in the red zone. This time, no turnover. Cashes in on a field goal, 7-3, trailing Mo. Well, we got a little duplication between the games. Here in the opening game of Group A. First and 10, Rodgers. And he's lucky that Dion in coverage couldn't catch up with that. Uh, uh, what I'm seeing right now is, is Skimbo could be in trouble in this game over the long haul right now. Killer Mike has that deep post locked up right now, doing a great job taking away his deep passing attack. Now, I was talking to Skimbo before the game, just about 30 minutes before it got started, and said, what's the difference between the 4-6 and then going against the cover two, Nickel Blitz? And he just says, it's tough for me to go downfield against the 46. So a third and five for Skimbo. And he fits this one right in to Thomas right before Night Train Lane. Absolute beautiful throw right there on third down. He sets his feet third and five, delivers the ball inside of the safety, gets the huge first down. Skimbo now starting to pass a little more aggressively downfield. And you want to know why the 97 Aaron Rodgers is the quarterback that you're going to see mostly in these three weeks? Why? That right there. Delivers him. That perfect touch and a bullet pass moves the chains. Rodgers. And let's be honest, he's got a little bit of wheels. Hey, that's the most important part. It, it, when you play Madden over all these years, right, that the game has been out. You, everyone remembers the mobile quarterbacks, <laughs> the Vicks of the world, the Vince Youngs of the world. But Madden, Madden 17, what it's really about is having that little extra mobility to quarterback. We're not talking guys with 95 speed and breaking uh, things out there with, with the game. It's all about a little extra mobility to get you outside of the pocket like Rodgers does. So first and 10 at the 44, quick pass to Ricky Williams, and he's pushed out at the 35-yard line. Second and two. Yeah, great check down right there. He takes the flat right there once again. You're going to see that consistently from Skimbo. He also loves to attack the deep middle of the field right there with his tight ends. And so Ricky Williams moves the chains, and let's check in with Zach. Just before the half, fourth and goal, serious Mo play action fake, rolls out, finds the receiver. He's up 14-3 going into the half. Well, I'd say he's getting ready. Getting ready for game number two. We got a good game coming up, game number two. That's, that's the kind of game that could be a final, and it's the second game of the day. Skimbo and Serious Mo coming up after this one, and Skimbo a little stiff arm. Get off me to the 26. Yeah, and I love the combination we're seeing from Skimbo here. He's using the threat of the playmaker that we've talked about earlier. So what he's doing is he, he's attacking that short flat, but he's also giving him an inside playmaker option, a short drag over the middle of the field. So what happens here, Chad Johnson runs a vertical here, then he can playmaker back upfield. It's really difficult to defend. So second and three, there is Williams in the middle of the field, and he carries Kraus to the eight, and Killer Mike will use one of his timeouts. It's only 56 seconds remains in the half. One thing that separates Skimbo from the rest of this entire field is his efficiency in the red zone. Stopping Randy Moss out on this right side. This is the play you have to watch out for. Moss wreaks havoc for Skimbo's offense. So first and goal, he's gonna run with Rodgers, and he's gonna pick up absolutely nothing. 
Three scrambles already with Rodgers uh, for 16 yards in this one. Oh, uh, I'm either throwing a touchdown or a pick right here. Oh, well. You're going to man up the dude on the outside. I'm going to throw it. <laughs> should it man should up the guy open. on the outside. It's the, it's the it's modern day it's Babe open. Ruth. He's calling his shot here on second and goal. Touchdown. Yep. And there is a wide open Chad Johnson. He called it, and then it happened. I don't, I don't feel bad. He told him. Yeah, I mean, he told him. He said, listen, put man a guy up out there. <laughs> the Babe Ruth of Madden calling his shots. You can see right here a quick out pattern right there to uh, Chad Johnson. Very difficult to defend from game these over, 46 over, formations. You don't have a defender in the short over. flat. It's over. And it's been stop. great no coverage points, by no Dion, no but Paul Krause has been a little bit exposed for Killer Mike. And no Dion points, will run out no of bounds points, at the no 23 no yard line, trailing by 11. Worthy of note, Killer Mike will receive the ball in the second half, so this is a huge 44 seconds. He still has one timeout, 44 seconds to go. You have plenty of time here. Get yourself into field goal range here. I think he wants to attack vertically. And here comes the heat. And barely gets it away. Clock will stop with 41 seconds left in the half. You can see Skimbo starting to chirp a little bit right now. You know, he opens the game, calm, cool, collective, feeling the nerves of the situation. But now he's up, feeling the rhythm of the game. This is when Skimbo's the best. Well, it's worth noting that Skimbo has three timeouts. So you got to be careful if you're killing Mike. You can't move the chains. And once again, just barely getting it away for Averill. Was barreling down on him. Yeah, and Skimbo, talk about his offense. He only gives up 99 yards a game passing. That's ranks third in the entire championship of the best 32 players in the world. So his defense is better than you think it is. Gives up 99 yards and a touchdown, 8-1. 14 to three, and here comes Bosa. And he's gonna burn a timeout with 32 seconds left. And Killer Mike, all of a sudden, is in the shadow of his own end zone. He's gonna have to punt it away on fourth and forever. I'm going to tip my ball cap to you here because you, you called this situation. You said if you kill her, Mike, be very careful here. Now he has a short punt. It's already going to put Skimbo into field goal range. And this is just a mismanaged situation right here. Ball in the 39. Two timeouts to a guy like Skimbo here. This is three points. Yeah, even three is huge. So we'll see how Michael Skimbo, our number one seed, is going to play it here with 24 seconds. Here comes a blitz through the... Oh, and he lurked him! He was sitting right there. What a user lurk, but he was sitting right there in the zone, and he Pressure. throws it right to him. Pressure burst pipes off that left edge right you, there. Dubby. Forced the throw early. That's Killer Mike Dubby. stays underneath on the drag, and he gets the pick just like that back in the driver's seat. Calling out Dub Dot Dubby, his lab partner, who's, of course, going to be here next weekend, part of the group, the, the latter four groups of this 32-man Let's be honest, Battle Royale is it's what this thing's going to come down it? to. Absolutely. A lot of Madden coming up the next three weeks. Huge turnover for Skimbo, and now Killer Mike. He's got 20 seconds and a timeout. A field goal would make it a one-score game. Looking downfield. A little delay out of the backfield, checks it down, and then I'll move it to the 48. How many yards do you think he needs here to at least be in field goal range? He'll feel good about 10, 10 to 12 yards. He'll feel good to get into field goal range here. He, he, that's usually the manageable spot here. He, he still needs a lot of work to do here. He's got one timeout, so try to get the ball downfield a little bit more than that. Maybe get a shot to the end zone. His kicker is Jason Myers. Who? Uh -huh. And here's a fumble, and it's still loose, and Skimbo jumps on it at the 47. Eight seconds and a timeout. Oh, my. Yeah, and if you remember, Skimbo was chirping before. He said he wanted, where's my fumble? Where's my fumble? And here it is. Pressure. Who else but Joey? Bosa, Skimbo said that he was the guy that was going to set the tone for his defense. So first and ten, needs a quick hitter. Goes to Ricky Williams, stiff arm. Ricky. And now he's through the 38, and he does have Steven Guskowski. And that is going to be a 55-yarder from there. And I say let it fly, my friend. You got to kick the boot. Yeah, free points right here for Skimbo from a, a mismanaged situation by Killer Mike. He's did get the ball back. But right now, Skimbo, free three points in this half. That's your guy from the Patriots. Kicks it up and true, a absolute bomb to end the half. And that moves the lead to 14 for Michael Skimbo. Some huge points there. Still in this one here, if you're killer Mike, you're only down 14, that's two scores. All you need to do is 
Put together an opening drive in the start of the second half, and you'll be fine. Well, Michael Skimbo's come out cool and collective, turned the ball over, able to get it back. And I'm telling you, that last second field goal for, for, for the half, that's the difference between the number one guy and the number 32 guy. What happens in these situations, there's mismanagements at the end of halves, end of games. The best players don't do it. The guys that go home, they do. Well, quite a first half. Let's go to Dave and Rico. Thanks a lot, guys. That was quite a first half. 17 to three, Rico. Killer Mike, the club series champion, doing everything he can right now not to get flooded out of here by the number one player in the world. What did you see in that first half? Yeah, we're going to have to call RG and tell him to bring the floaties in. <laughs> we're hoping Killer Mike can swim. Skimbo is exactly who we thought he is. The number one seed. He came out here while a lot of people are out in California for fun and relaxation. This is a business trip, and he's all business. Absolutely. Skimbo about his business for a little bit more of an in-depth breakdown into our other game. Serious Mo against Canes. Let's go over to Zach Farley over on the wall. Zach? Serious Mo playing great defense in the red zone. That's been the difference so far, but when he has had the ball on offense, he's been taking care of the defense from Canes. Here is how he's doing it. Canes roaming around the middle with who else but Anthony Barr. So what is Mo doing? He's going as far away as possible from those areas. He's using that brand new possession catch. Let's take a look here at the snap of the ball. You see Barr is across the middle. Mo rolling out. He's using great mobility from his quarterbacks. The possession catch in the corner of the end zone. And that is why he currently is leading in this second half. We'll get you more updates. But first, Dave, back to you. Thanks a lot, Farrells. Before we move on, I want to remind everybody that Xbox One S is the ultimate games and 4K entertainment system for Madden NFL 17 fans. Play with friends on Xbox Live, the fastest, most reliable gaming network, and watch 4K Blu-ray movies. Coming up later today, we are just getting started here. There is a lot of Madden left to be played. You see our next featured match, Skimbo versus Sirius Mo, arguably the biggest rivalry in all of Madden. There's D. Jones and Young Kiv, also one of the biggest rivalries in all of Madden. We have got a lot of games coming up here, Rico. But first, let's go to Drea, who is down on the sidelines with Skimbo. Drea, what do you got? Thanks so much, Dave. Skim, you came into this. You're the number one seed. People are saying the killer Mike is the Dragon Slayer. How would you assess your first half performance so far to open this tournament? It's been pretty good. Had a really good game plan coming in on offense and defense. I'm executing it. I noticed in towards the end of the second half, you started getting more vocal, calling out plays. What changed from then to the beginning of this matchup? Uh, I mean, I don't know. Just talked to myself. It really didn't change a lot. Just was hoping he'd do something stupid, and he did, and it let me have three points. Let the people know, what is this pressure like of being the number one seed in this big tournament? You know, first time been one seed, but I've always felt a little pressure just all my life. I've always felt like I was one of the best, so I just kind of always carry myself that way. There it is. Carry yourself that way. Best of luck in the second half. Thank you. All right, let's send it to Scott and Gibbs. All right, thank you so much, Dre. Always good to hear from Dre. And we just getting started here, but Skimbo seems locked in. He's locked in, but listen, he's not wearing his sweatpants. <laughs> He's not wearing the staple of his uniform when he this comes guy. to these tournaments. Wear your sweatpants, Skimbo. <laughs> I'm the one that's supposed to talk about the fashion. I'm the one that talks about Young Kiv's jackets and everything. He's got fire for later, Young Kiv. I know. I'm looking forward to that. But Gucci. I think it's I think it's important to mention that Skimbo notices that he needed to change things up. I, I'll just tell you when I'm I first started doing these in. things, he loved to hang out with the guys, have a good time, you know, eat some chicken wings together. But now he's back in the hotel room. He's preparing. He's mentally prepared, and it's shown here in the first half. He told me he took a nap from 1 to like 4 in the <laughs> afternoon yesterday, woke up, then he just walked around the hotel, just kind of moving him around every which way, prepared, ready to go for this tournament. A lot of lap work last night for Skimbo. Skimbo, the old man, watching Woo! Jeopardy. <laughs> yeah. Catching Wheel of Fortune, Price the early right. bird special. Get out the yeah. Early bird is, is where it's at. So big time hit on first down, Killer Mike. This is a gigantic drive, trailing by 14. He's going to flip the script. Coleman now on the right. Pressure off that edge. Second and six from the 29. Great user by Skimbo. Looking downfield, he's just got to throw it away. Yeah. Locked up on the back end. Yeah, for those new at home watching here in the Madden Championship here, you can see Killer Mike, five completions of nine attempts for 75 yards. But Skimbo, user defender, it's the defender he's virtually controlling. Usually this guy right here in the middle of the field. Right now it's this guy right here. So third and six. He's been excellent on third down, and this time throws it deep, but can't hang on as Cameron. I need you, Eubanks. That's on you, Eubanks. Big fourth and six coming That's up. That's on you. 
You can see Killer Mike trying to stretch vertically right here, but Skimbo dropping a deep uh, middle linebacker to protect against that deep seam throw. Fourth and six. Yeah, big play by the safeties. The back end of that defense for Skimbo. Huge fourth and six. Trailing by two scores. He needs it. And he will not get it away. And it's going to be a turnover on downs at the 19. Here's a red zone gift. Absolute pressure off both edges, forces Rogers oh, to step up in the pocket. The you can see right the linebacker breaks free, gets the sack the in the right driver's here. seat once again. Watch for Jimmy Graham right there. Bang, that's the route. He had enough time, couldn't find anybody. Skimbo going to the back of the end zone and overthrows Thomas. You're right on, my man. Yeah, this is a great part of the field where you want to try to attack the back of the end zone. Skimbo does it the best in the world. Second and 10 at the 19, Moss motions wide to the right. That's where he goes, and a quick throw to the five-yard line. And the man from Rand University, that's, a, that's, a, that's all made up. <laughs> Randy Moss, Randy Candy. You're going to see Skimbo attack these sidelines throughout the rest of this game. Killer Mike does not have defenders out on the left sidelines to protect against it. Once again, watch for Moss. And they go to Ricky Williams, and he'll get to the... Four yard line, second and goal. Of course, Randy Moss was going to go to Notre Dame, then Florida State, and found a home at Marshall. That's the cool thing about the draft. You know what's happening this weekend? You get to see a lot of dreams get made. And here's another pass to Randy Moss. And it's now pinning the extra point. Going to be 24 to 3. And you can't get more wide open than that in the red zone. Yeah, Randy Moss on that sideline. One of the things that Skimbo said he liked about this matchup was these sideline routes. You can see, even though there's two defenders over there, Paul Krause, Anthony Barr, two of the best in the game, they're not able to hang out on that edge. They're not able to get out there as quick as Moss is. That's where you can see. So we got a big lead here. Let's check in with Zach on game number two. Third quarter filled with turnovers, but Keynes became the first man to cash in. Fourth quarter, he makes it 14-9. He went for two, but did not get it. Mm. Nail biter. Little Maalox moments going on in game number two. And right now, Killer Mike, this is it, right? Got to have it. You get into a spot here, and you're now down three scores. These dink and dunks, you're going to have to start attacking vertically here. But the problem is all the pressure Skimbo is sending, they're making him force the throw out early. So second and seven at the 28. Rodgers. Got him. And a one-handed almost grab by Evans. He was open, but he could not pull it into his body. Yeah, great route combination from Killer Mike. He ran a couple underneath drag patterns, then a deep post behind it. High-level type of offense. Unfortunately, Moss can't hang on to the catch. So we're in group stage, group A just starting. These competitors will play three games each against the other three guys, four guys in a group. So big time interception, it's the X Factor. This ultimate ticket, Dawkins, Dubby. Brian Dawkins, Dawkins from Clemson picks it off. Yeah, and when Killer Mike needed a drive, Skimbo made a play. He's able to click on, gets the pick right here. Doesn't click on, actually, just all organic <laughs> right there from the X Factor. Uh, and right now, things are looking good for Skimbo. So first and 10 at the 48. Killer Mike's going to have to roll his pants up. The water's starting to rise. And we get... To the 41. Zach, what's going on in game number two? Speaking of rising, Mo was trying to ice this one away with the two minute warning. He does it. He's up 21 9. Champ Bailey just got a pick, and Mo is kneeling this one out. So serious Mo and Skimbo. Well, can it get any better? They're playing next, and it looks like they're both going to go 1 0. You, you said it earlier, it's a championship game, and you know what? It has been a championship game previously. If you date all the way back to the 2016, you're going to go up top one oh time. My. Easy pickings for Skimbo I'm, at this I'm, point. I'm, I'm dead. I'm sick. <laughs> one on one, Demaryius Thomas up top, and Skimbo rolls the eyes right there. You can see one on one, Rodgers delivers the ball downfield. Big completion down to the three. And that was all over Champ Bailey and Ricky Williams. We'll just run it in, and oh my, 
If you got kids, you might want to turn them away. This one's getting ugly. I mean, it just, he's playing perfection right now. Y you saw him do this as well, going into the run on the Madden Challenge, uh, but ultimately wasn't able to, to get the victory there in his final game against Beast Mode. But, you know, we were saying earlier, you have this matchup coming up with Skimbo in Serious Mode. They, they've played in the Madden Challenge 2016, the Madden Bowl, uh, and, and that's where Serious Mode, overtime victory, gets the pick to win that game. This is the biggest rivalry in all of competitive Madden coming up in this next game. And if you're watching, you're saying, well, well Skimbo just needs to run out the clock here. It's group stage, every point matters. And so veteran move by Skimbo. Running, not, I'm saying he's running up the score, there's no doubt. But you're playing against the group. You're not only playing against Killer Mike, you're playing against the entire group. Give me more points. I want all the points that are available. If I can throw a 100-burger up, I will. That's got to be the mindset. Make my opponent put the controller down. Trailing by 28, it's Killer Mike. So, in converse to that, Killer Mike, if he can go down here and score a touchdown, that could be big if he can win his next two games. Yeah, I was talking to Killer Mike about that very thing, about the point differential, and I had asked him the question. I said, do you want to get into a shootout, or are you going to try and manage the game from a standpoint of uh, ball control? And you can see another interception. You get a pick. You get a pick. Picks you get a pick. But he's getting into a situation where he's trying to catch up here. You can see that Rodgers rolls out. He just forces that throw. Two defenders underneath. Landon Collins, there he is, making a big play. Yeah, he's a hard hitter that time with some soft hands. Ricky does that? Yeah, Ricky Williams. Like that, Ricky? Is Ping pong in his way to the 37. Is there anyone better on the mic than Skimbo? <laughs> in this whole field because he calls his shots, he tells his opponent, hey, cover this guy. Here's the adjustment to stop him. It's fantastic, listen to him. Yeah, if, if you want to go get a coffee, uh, Skimbo and I can take this the rest of the way. <laughs> Absolutely. So down to the 10-yard line now, and we're under a minute, and uh, this is salt in the wounds. It's getting really savage here in game number one. Rodgers in the gun. Looking to the end zone and just slides down. Wow. Smart play as the clock continues to run. Yeah, and Skimbo, when you take a look at his entire year, the way he's played, uh, he competed in the Madden Classic. Uh, online single elimination, uh, well, that's actually for Killer Mike. Online single elimination loss in the Madden Classic. Uh, for the Madden Challenge, Killer Mike, uh, he lost in the second round there as well. And uh, then he got in as the last doesn't kick here. the field goal here. Opportunity to get into the Madden, uh, the Madden Championship. Think he's going to kick the field goal here? He's kind of taking his should, foot off the gas here. Should take as we the move points. into the fourth quarter. Should take some points here. You know, try and get some more points here up on the scoreboard. And this time he just stands back there like a statue. This this might be just one of the most perfect games we've seen him play at this point. You know, Killer Mike on that streak, the six straight victories, and Skimbo making it look easy. I should fake it, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> now that would be savage. He's talking about the fake field goal. He did fake an extra point in the challenge that led to two points. And he's gonna let that clock run all the way down before he kicks it through the uprights, and that's right down Main Street. Young Kiv remembers it. Young Kiv remembers it. <laughs> Been perfect thus far. Up by 31. Killer Mike will have it again. Dion take it from his own end zone. And just gets to the 20-yard line. Opportunity here once again for Killer Mike. So our game number two, Sirius Mo, getting the victory 21-9. And now it sets up a, a showdown. We already knew it was a showdown. But now it's pretty much to see who can take control of Group A coming up next and a huge hit on Julio Jones. Yeah, and for Killer Mike at this point, with four minutes, 20 seconds remaining, you're down 31. It, it really does come down to point differential at this point. You got to get something on the scoreboard here, even if it takes this whole drive, dink and dunk downfield. Field goal helps, <laughs> touchdown helps. You got to get some points on the scoreboard. So second and ten. And it's a wide open drop that hurts. by Randy Moss. You hear Skimbo called out there. He recognizes that's a that's a tough one right there. A drop. You're not old enough to remember, but I'm gonna see if you remember. Do you remember when the 
It's a championship game in TV cut to the movie Heidi. No. You ever hear about this? Never. This is one of those moments Weave where if you're Killer death. Mike, you're hoping they <laughs> cut away. 60 minutes is up next. And there's another, another drop. drop. Sucks. Drop it like it's hot. Killer Mike staying composed, though. You can see he's not letting it frustrate him. That's going. He's going to need to get right back up on the horse. He's got to play Canes in his next matchup. That's a big victory there, mainly because of the point differential. He's must-win situation in that one against Canes. Skimbo's going to have a huge advantage if this 31-point lead holds up. If he gets in a 2-1 and one situation in the group stage. Quick throw. This time Cameron holds on out to the 41. Rodgers just 8 of 20 in this one. Yeah, and, and for Skimbo, it's all about the mark of consistency for him throughout this uh, entire tournament. The Madden Classic, he finished in ninth. The Madden Bowl, he finished third. The Madden Challenge, he finished second. Uh, so if, if we're going with the trend here, he could be the guy that wins this tournament. And there's Julio Jones, and he gets to the 38. You know, we talk about the differential between the guys that are in the top five, top ten, and then the guys that are sort of like 20 through 32. I know it's razor thin, but I think this is a good example with those top five guys, what they can do to those that maybe don't have as much experience. And there's a fumble. that will be recovered at the 43. It, it, it really is the experience. It, yeah. And you said it earlier, when, when Skimbo first comes out to these tournaments, yeah, he's out there eating the chicken wings, hanging out, <laughs> part, like having fun with everybody. Uh, and, and now he comes here and 14 live event games he's had uh, in this season alone. So he's been here before and with a 30 point lead, he's just showing complete control over his entire game plan. A big completion to the 22 yard line. And that'll put Killer Mike over 100 yards passing. That's or was the it quota. The Cumberland? Who? That, that's the quota for, uh, for, for Skimbo. He's not let up any more yards passing right out now. 99 yards a game. So Mover Skimbo is going to be huge. But in converse to that, Killer Mike and Canes will both be 0 and 1 in the groups. And so that's now a must win. Yeah, well, that, I mean, that gives got to give Canes a little boat of confidence there. He, he's got the point differential over uh, over Killer Mike in that one. But a lot of work to do in, in, for both those guys now going down 0-1. Second and 12, two-minute warning coming up. High points that can't hang on. And Boy, Brian Dawkins has absolutely owned the middle of the field. It, he has, but for Killer Mike, that's just not going to get it done. You're not going to chuck four vertical streaks down the middle of the field here and hope to catch it uh, in traffic. You need to throw guys open, need to have what the community calls dots, you need to get receivers wide open and deliver throws like that. You see Skimbo do it all game. Yeah, I've seen a lot of Todds, not a lot of dots. Killer Mike, this one. A lot of drops. Fit too. it in the window, and you're right. Sometimes you get the drop bug, and that's kind of where he's been. Fourth and 12. I know your competitive heart says... I need a touchdown here. Are you taking the points? To kick a field goal. I mean, yeah. cut, you know, you're one step closer. You never know how things will play out. Fourth, is it fourth and one, fourth and two? Sure, go for it. But yeah, he is a competitor. Maybe he's going to try, you know, lab a new play here. <laughs> <laughs> so fourth and twelve from the twenty-three with two twelve remaining in this opening game of Group A. And Rogers throws a pick to Mark Barron. And Barron with the interception. And Skimbo will take over at the seven. Yeah, you can see another force throw. All these underneath zone defenders just tries to get Moss the ball as high as he can. Unfortunately, gets the interception. Uh, one of the hardest things that happens in these situations and when you play in these tournaments, uh, when you play a game online at home and you just get absolutely waxed like he is right here, against Skimbo, you can take a break. You could not play a game for the next 10 hours, 10 days, whatever it is. But when you play in a live event and you lose by 31, going into a game that most everyone's saying that you were not going to, you might get blown out and you have to play minutes later against a guy like Keynes. So third and four, checks it down to Williams. And you're right, there's no rest for the weary when it comes to group stage. He's got to compose himself. Killer Mike's got to get right back on the horse. He's got to play Canes coming up next. So even though you, you lost here, you got to get back, recompose yourself here, and do it all over again. And Aaron Rodgers will take a knee. Killer Mike will use a timeout. 
So Killer Mike, not done yet, but trailing by 34. And it comes back to the points. It's all about the points in the group stage. And, and he, he's not satisfied with three. I can tell you one thing. Skimbo's satisfied with 34. He is satisfied with 34, but I'll tell you one thing that I, I, I saw in the challenge, I've seen previously, and we're going to see it here coming up in our next couple of games. Skimbo does really well whenever he faces a defense that's not called nickel normal nickel blitz too. That is a specific style of defensive game plan that you're going to see from Sirius Mo, from uh, from Canes, and that is what we saw Beast Mode Mac, Beast Mode Mac yeah. run against Skimbo in the Madden Challenge. So you're seeing him here absolutely dominate because he's not facing a defense that he doesn't do well against. My biggest question coming up in that game with Sirius Mo, how does he handle the nickel blitz defense? Well, they initially marked him short, but the booth took another look at it, and they'll give him the first down. And that'll put it on ice. This one's over. Exactly how you want to start this tournament if you're Skimbo. You, looked at, you look at your group. Everyone does it. You say, okay, well, uh, this guy, look, oh, he looks like a victory against Killer Mike. Well, uh, then I'm going to play Serious Mo. And it's 50-50. They've played a couple times this season. Uh, it's Serious Mo has beat Skimbo four times this year out of the five games they've played. That is not a good winning percentage. No. And he's the first one to admit it, that it's always been tough facing yeah, Sirius Mo. Yeah. Well, Killer Mike. Yeah, awesome. prepared, man. Hey, good luck. And you can like, see the sportsmanship between the two. Big win, 34-3, to as Skimbo starts off this Madden 17 championship with a bang. Absolute perfect game plan. He said to us last night all week, listen, I have labbed against Killer Mike. I know exactly what he's going to do. I know he's not going to defend the sideline. I'm going to throw the ball to the sideline. When I get in the red zone, I'm just going to tell him, hey, man, this guy up, do this, and I'm going to throw it, defend it. Well, he did it. You know, it's one thing to talk about it, yeah. the scouting report. It's another thing to execute it, and he did that, and he is standing by with Drea. Thanks so much, Scott. Skim, dominating performance on both sides of the ball. What kind of statement did you send the Madden community opening this tournament that way? Uh, I don't know. Just that I'm really good at preparing. If I know what you're going to run, I have a really good chance of beating you. So that's just kind of what that proved right there. You're mic'd up so people at home can hear you talking to Dubby. Expand on what that communication is all about and just your interaction with him. I know a lot of people know you guys are friends, but specifically in the interaction today. Yeah, I threw a pick because of him. <laughs> <laughs> he tells me to throw a five-yard in route when no one's open, so I did, and it got picked. So it was his fault. Oops. Well, next up, you have Sirius Mo. A lot of people looking forward to that matchup. You guys are rivals. What are your expectations in that one? I want to win. I mean, I'll be open about it. That's my biggest rival, and that's who I want to beat the most. And if I don't win a tournament, I always want him to win it. But right now, I need to beat him right here. There you go. That's what it's all about. Best of luck in your next matchup. Let's send it to Dave and Rico. Thanks a lot, Drea. Guys.